Well, I'd do what I said and go out of window. Well, then how am I going to lock the window? You, if a window's closed, Ricky, you can't tell if it's open or shut. If it's closed hard enough, you can't tell whether it's locked or not. Unless you jimmy it. I thought, Ricky, 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 I thought I had a pretty good idea, didn't I? Yeah. Okay. Well, I thought I had a pretty good idea there, Ricky boy. Well, I don't understand, Ricky, because there's just all insured. No, I don't understand. I'm living in a 20 by 20 foot box, Rick. I can't, I don't have a wheelchair because Rex won't cough up $175. I just thought it was a good idea. Hey, guess how many push pins you get for six bucks? Four hundred. How about how many do you want me to mail you? Don't you want to have a little push pin board? Okay, well, I got a bunch of brand new ones. What now? I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Don't call me in one of them damn holes, okay? All right, never mind. Goodbye. Bye-bye. I can't believe they hid my phone in the... That was smart for them to hide that phone. In there. Whoever... That had to be Donna who did that. Donna is a smart girl. Hid my phone. That's smart. She is a smart girl. See, what I was telling you about my brothers, today's the day of the party. And what has he done? I can't even talk to my mother. That's, you know, I can't even call my mom up because she's over at my brother's. That belongs to a dead man. who died in the hospital, but he was my roommate. He's dead. Once you're dead, you stay that way. This stuff is good for young men such as myself.
I could have been looking for that phone all over this place. I could have turned this place upside down. Whoever did that should have left me a note so that I'd find the note. Your phone is so and so, and this is that. They're almost too smart for their own good. Know what I mean? Six twenty seven. We're just about at the end of this one too. Okay. I've got a lot of work to do to get all these online up and running. Remember, we're still promoting the, what is it? Metal detectors, like the airport screen and uses, okay? For the kids, right? That's why I'm doing this. Not to show you my pathetic little life. Okay, it is what it is. Okay. Testing one, two, three. How's the time for all good men to come to the aid of their country? Okay. Southwest at six. Denton Fair, fifty nine, South at eight. Sherman Denison, Sunny, 57, Southwest at 5. Ardmore, Fair, 59, Southwest at 8. Elsewhere around the region, DFW Airport, Fair, 59, West at 5. Wichita Falls, Fair, 60, Southwest at 12. Four minutes till Oklahoma City, four o'clock. Fair, 56, Southwest at 9. Paris, Fair, 56, Variable at 5. Now, let's check on your local forecast for the Gainesville listening area. Rest of this afternoon, sunny. Highs in the upper 50s. South Hello. winds around 5 Anybody miles hear me? Tonight, mostly clear. Hello, can you go to hear me? South winds around 5 miles an hour, becoming northeast after midnight. Friday, mostly sunny in the morning, then becoming mostly cloudy. Cooler with highs in the mid 40s. Northeast winds 10 to 15 miles an hour. Friday night, mostly cloudy. A chance of flurries after midnight. Cold with lows in the upper 20s. North winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. And now the extended forecast. Saturday, mostly cloudy in the morning, then becoming mostly sunny. Highs in the upper 40s. North winds 5 to 10 miles an hour. Saturday night, mostly clear. Cold with lows in the upper 20s. Sunday, sunny. Highs around 50. Sunday night, partly cloudy in the evening, then becoming mostly cloudy. Cold with lows in the mid 30s. Hey, there's Monday, 10 minutes. mostly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers. Let try to call red. Then partly sunny in the afternoon. Highs in the lower 50s. Monday night, partly cloudy. Cold with lows in the upper 30s. Tuesday, partly sunny. Highs in the upper 50s. Tuesday night, 
partly cloudy in the evening, then becoming mostly cloudy. Lows in the lower 40s. Wednesday, mostly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers. Highs in the upper 50s. Wednesday night, mostly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers. Hey, Rex. I'd like to speak to mom if that'd be possible. Need to get a hold of her and tell her happy uh, Mother's Day or Valentine's Day or Thanksgiving Day. They're having their Thanksgiving Day today up here at uh, Good Samaritan or uh, Pilot Point, whatever whatever we're doing. So I was just trying to get in touch with her so that I'd tell her happy uh, Thanksgiving. Because today's the day, and sorry that uh, you decided not to take the drive to come up here, but I know it's a long way for you to drive now that you've gotten so old. 65 is a hell of a year, but of course, I think Granddad and Grandma were still driving, 65, but I know you're a lot older looking than they were at their age, but I didn't know that you, you know, Felt like you couldn't drive on the road, you know, anymore. It's getting late in the day. You probably don't want to drive at night anymore. So it would probably be best if you didn't get on the highway with those younger drivers that are so much better a driver than you. And, you know, and then you've got the autonomous trucks that, you, you know, they don't even need a driver anymore. So, well, you know, I mean... You can't afford that, I know that. I mean, you might be rich and being able to do everything in the whole wide world, but you can't afford an Elon Musk electric vehicle that'll drive itself. So so I'll just sit up here. I'm basically alone in my apartment. I got a, I got a chair over here with mom's name on it, but uh, you can't even bring her up here and let her and sit in the car and let her spend 15 minutes with me. But, uh, well, it's, you know, just the luck of the draw, I guess. Old Marky, he don't, he don't get to go to the party, don't have anybody to go to the party with. And so here he gets to sit. Got nobody to party with. Or, see, it's probably still too cold for you, too. It's 50 degrees. You probably catch the pneumonia. Well, it's 4 o'clock. You you probably want to take a nap right about now, too. So, well, I'll let you get off and take your nap. And you, you get some rest. And, well, maybe tomorrow or the next day you can get somebody to drive you up here so that you don't have to drive such a long distance and maybe have an accident or something like that. You know, it's a long way from your house to drive up here. I know that, so. We don't want to get you out there on the streets, you know. You're not, you're not capable like you used to be. I know that, Rex. So. Oh. Huh? Well, Rex just isn't up to the task anymore. I better go ahead and end this little blog right here, right now. So.